Selected number three overall by the Chargers, NFL Draft, Joey Bosa, the Chargers rookie defensive end, joining us. Where are you today, Joey? Hey, I'm actually at Chargers Park eating some breakfast right now. What's on the menu? Uh, a little breakfast burrito and some, some eggs, some sausage, some fruit. Uh, better food spread, Chargers or Ohio State? Um, Ohio State had its moments. It would bring in some, bring in some restaurants to cater, but consistently, I think, think San Diego. So you grew up in Florida. How did you get out of SEC country to go to Ohio State? Um, it was, it was just the fit, right fit for me. Um, I felt like I connected with the coaches really well, and you know, I just felt like it was the best place for me to go to to be successful. And I think it ended up working out pretty well. What was the SEC school that you were close to going to? Alabama probably was second or third when I was finally decided on Ohio State. How'd that conversation go when you tell Nick Saban you're not going to Alabama? Yeah, it was tough because I had a good relationship with all of them, and uh, they were great to me. They were my first offer, and, uh, you know, we we connected pretty well. I visited there a couple times, <clears throat> but, you know, they understood, and they respected me for calling them and telling them uh, that I was going to commit to Ohio State, so... It, it was tough, but uh, it 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 wasn't too bad. More intense, uh, yeah. Coach Saban or uh, Urban Meyer? Um, I, I have to say, with the small time I've met Coach Saban, he's a uh, he takes that one. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe if, if I got around him more, <clears throat> it it might change. You look back on the whole draft process, and maybe it's a blur, I don't know, but, I mean, you're poked, you're prodded, everybody is telling you what you can do, can't do, where you're going, not going. Can you put it into words now, after the fact that you survived? What was it like? Yeah, it's it was such a long process, but now looking back at it, it, uh, it, it really just flew by. Now I'm here already settled into my new team, moved into my new place. And, uh, it's just, it, it just flew by, but it, it was a grueling process. Um, not something I'd ever want to have to go through again, but, uh, I'm, I'm happy I got to go through it. It's a blessing if you, if you get to go through a process like that. So, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's obviously something I'll forever, I'll remember forever, but, uh, Maybe not. Maybe not for the best reasons. But how tough is it to read something negative about you? Um, I kind of would stay away from the media. I try to. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it's tough. Especially what bothers me is when negative things are said about you that aren't true. <clears throat> and people are just as making assumptions about you when they never met you and they have no idea who you are. So uh, that would bother me other than like, rather than someone saying that I had a bad workout or that I'm not good at this, like that's an opinion, but someone just blatantly saying something that isn't true kind of would bother me. What was the thing that bothered you the most? Uh, honestly, I couldn't really pick one thing, but, uh, like I said, I tried to stay away from the media, so uh, that never w was much of a problem for me. He's Joey Bosa, <laughs> the Chargers defensive end, joining us, Dan Patrick show. Uh, why number 99? <clears throat> um, it really was only, there were only three numbers available, and I, I picked 99. Still pretty upset I don't have 97. Might have to uh, bug Jerry about it, but uh, maybe in a few years I'll get it back. Well, you can buy it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how much 97's worth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you might be there longer, so, you know, you could probably negotiate here a little bit. Yeah. How, how important is yeah. it? <laughs> um, well, it's it means a lot to me. My dad wore it. My brother's 
my brother wore it or is wearing it now. Uh, going to be wearing it at Ohio State. It was a kind of kind of Bosa Bosa boy thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I definitely wish I still had it, but it's not the end of the world. But you know, we're in '99. What's going to happen? Yeah, I did, that didn't even run through my head when I made the decision, and until after, and I saw all the tweets about it. But uh, you know, a lot of people have wore ninety nine. It's uh, it's a number, it really doesn't mean anything. But uh, if people want to make comparisons. That's okay if they're. <clears throat> but <clears throat> yeah, one day I'll get ninety seven back. I also, like the media loves to profile, and it feels like the comparisons are similar. If you're, uh, you know, that, that small white slot receiver, then you're a Wes Welker type. You know, you being a defensive yeah, exactly. end, who you're going to be compared to? Did you? I mean, it's inevitable, I guess, but it, it's a little bit lazy as well. We we sort of say, well, a Jared Allen type of defensive end, or it's a J.J. Watt yeah. type of defensive end. Now, those are Hall of Famers, so it's not bad to be compared to them. Yeah, definitely not. But why would it be a negative in your eyes? Um, I, I just think I'm my own player. Um, it, it means a lot getting compared to two amazing players like that, obviously, but... Uh, what are the odds that you compare me to the two white defense men <laughs> that you can think of? But so, yeah, that's that's definitely one of the reasons, obviously. Um, but it it doesn't really bother me that much. But it, people are acting like I'm out here making these comparisons that I'm the same as the best player, best defensive player in the league, and uh, I'm not. I'm, I think I'm my own person, my own player, and I'm trying to make my own legacy in the NFL. I think you just changed your name to J.J. Bosa. No. <laughs> oh, that's not going to – okay, all right. Uh, we also came up with a nickname. Do you have a nickname? <clears throat> um, not really. Oh, now that that's – you have one. You may not like it, or it's going to sound like you're bragging. I mean, it's just – People call me Big Bear, like my uh, Twitter handle. Okay, all right, that's not bad. How about the Bosa Constrictor? Yeah, I saw, I saw that one. That's a pretty clever one. Are you okay Did with? Did you that? come up with that? Yeah, but are you okay with that? Yeah. All right, because I don't. I don't, I don't wanna... really get to choose my own nickname, so it's kind of whatever's given to me. <clears throat> Well, I, you can, you have the choice now. If you say, nah, don't go with it, then we just shut it down right now. No, you could you could do that. That's a good one. All right. So the Bosa Constrictor. I like it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> right, we're going with it. We're, we're going with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, I was waiting for you to say oh, something. Oh, my bad. I, I just I was waiting for your reaction no. to say thank you. It's no. unbelievable honor yeah. that you do. You yes, do. Yeah, thank be... you. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great nickname. That's what I was waiting for. Uh, hey, good luck. It's a long process there. And uh, have some fun. Good luck. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Thanks for having me. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.